Good morning, Mustangs. This is your morning herd for Tuesday, October 11th, 2022. Students, get ready. We are about to do the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Students, if you wish, please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Students, you may have noticed that the Google Chat feature in our Gmail has been temporarily disabled. The Moundsview Technology Department had to disable chat in order to remove a large and inappropriate thread. While well, chat will be enabled, enabled again next Monday, continued misuse by students of the thread, specifically the creation of spam or adding a large group of students for the purpose of sharing inappropriate content will result in the permanent removal of Google Chat. For Moundsview's suite of Google applications, please use Google Chat appropriately. It should only be used to aid communication for academic purposes. Thank you. Students, 14 colleges and universities will visit the Korean College Center this week. Oberlin, Yale, Pepperdine, UND, and Providence are all here today. Tomorrow you can visit with Case Western Reserve, Franklin University, Switzerland, U of Oregon, Southwest Minnesota State, and Northeastern University. As always, check out the Career and College calendar page on the Mounds U High School website um, and sign up in Naviance. The St. Paul River Center is hosting a career fair for 10th through 12th grade students. Scan the QR code you see here to sign up with your school email. Permission slip will be, can be picked up in the CCC, have a par parent sign it and hand it back to Ms. Hendrickson in the CCC and you'll be set for St. Paul on October 18th. Today after school will be the first volunteer service club meeting. Anyone is welcome to join. This is a great opportunity to complete short volunteer projects. Come to the floor after school today. Snacks will be provided. Interested in coding? Come to the coding club info meeting on October 14th, 8 o'clock a.m. in Mrs. Anderson's room, 204, to learn more. No prior experience needed. Sign up here or just walk in. Email Ellen Gao to with any questions. Mustangs cross-country team spent the weekend competing in Alexandria. The girls JV team finished second overall, and the varsity, now ranked fourth in the state, finished fourth overall. Taylor Isabel finished in 18th place, and Lauren Kath was a 25th runner to cross the finish line. The boys team finished second overall, with Captain Elliot MacArthur taking third place. Sophomore Owen Calms finished ninth. Great job, Mustangs. The Mountain View football team defeated Roseville 10-6 on Friday for their second win of the season. Kane Pursuti took this pass from own work to the house to give Mountain View a lead they would not relinquish. Way to go, Mustangs. The conference champion Mustang Tennis team will compete on Wednesday for the section title versus Roseville, a team they defeated earlier this season. The Mustang girls soccer is the number one seed in their section and will host Park Center High School tonight at 7. The fourth seeded boys soccer team hosts Spring Lake Park tonight at 5 and sections play as well. Lastly, the girls volleyball team plays tonight at 7 p.m. at Irondale School. Good luck to all Mustang athletes. We got popcorn chicken and french fries for lunch today. Mmm, I'll have that. Have a great four-day week, Mustangs.